Welcome to this uh, lesson on uh, plants, okay, for grade three environmental activities. So we are going to it's a uh, it's uh, we are we are supposed to take a nature walk. We are supposed to go out there in our environment, walk around and observe these plants. Okay, we need to look at the plants keenly and be able to see to uh, notice the differences between different plants. Uh, be able to see how each plant is in terms of the leaves. Uh, does it have fruits? Uh, does it have thorns? Okay, some plants we can eat, some plants we cannot eat. Okay, so since we cannot be able to take a nature walk uh, because of the coronavirus pandemic, we are going to take a virtual uh, tour or a virtual walk. So basically, I've taken photos of the plants in our environment here at school, and you are going to observe that. And I'm sure even uh, at your homes, you have some of these plants. So the first plant we have here is a bamboo plant, okay? Well, we need to study keenly each plant. Uh, look at this bamboo plant. Look at its leaves, okay? If you can see the stem also, look at it. Uh, look at how the leaves are set okay does it grow big is it uh, like a big tree or just a, a small uh, <coughs> a small plant okay so we observe everything about this plant okay this babu plant mostly is used uh, in the flower beds planted in the flower beds for beauty purposes you'll find it in schools okay hospitals restaurants even at your homes okay so it's planted for beauty, bamboo plant. Then the next one there is um, <coughs> golden palm. This is also another plant that we plant in our flower flower beds for beauty. Okay, look at how it looks. Very beautiful leaves, wide, like a fan. Okay, very beautiful. So this one is called a golden palm. Then we go to the next one. Now this one is a weed. It's called blackjack, and you find it in the garden a lot. If you try walking in the garden, uh, this this blackjack it has some some things that are going to stick on your clothes. Okay, these black things they will stick on your clothes. Okay, so that's a blackjack. It's eaten by some animals like uh, maybe goats and even rabbits. They love the leaves, especially the young ones that have not uh, dried up, okay? So they can be eaten by animals. Then next we have there a popo plant, okay? It has fruits. Look at the fruits there. We have a big one down here and then smaller ones as you go up. And very soon more will be coming out. So when you see flowers, as you can see, as going top, we have flowers, which means more fruits will be coming out. Look at the leaves. Okay, they are wide. Look at the stem. You can see the stem of the purple plant. Okay. Then we go to the next one. And there we have bean plants. Okay. So this one is flowering. You can see small flowers there, which means very soon you are going to have pods. And this is where you have the bean seeds inside, okay, which we can eat. Now, there, some of these plants we can eat uh, different parts. There are plants we can eat the leaves, others we eat the seeds, others we eat the fruits, okay? Others we might eat the stems. So different plants we eat different parts. Uh, this one, beans, sometimes we eat the leaves, they can be cooked. We also eat the beans. They can also eat be eaten by animals, the leaves. Uh, go to the next one. There we have an acacia plant. Look at the thorn. They are very sharp. Okay, and this plant is dangerous. It can it can prick you. You can get hurt. Okay, they are very sharp thorn. There's another acacia plant. You can see the the thorns there. Very sharp. Okay, acacia is mostly found in. Uh, places which don't have a lot of rainfall, dry places, that's where you find the acacia tree. Okay. Then you have the pumpkin plants with a big fruit there. 
pumpkin usually they have uh, long stems that run on the ground and as they run they go producing uh, pumpkins okay pumpkins you can eat the leaves you can also eat the the, the fruits and even the seeds are edible uh, it means they can be eaten there's another pumpkin plant right there with a, a big fruit and the leaves you can see them there green and then the stems running on the ground an acacia tree with sharp thorns sharp thorns very dangerous you shouldn't get near an acacia tree you can get hurt then you have grass grass is also very common in our environment uh, animals can eat the grass cows goats sheep they can all eat the grass you can also cut the grass and use it as um, for in agriculture when you are planting our crops we can use it to do mulching okay and there we have another plant right from my environment this one is called k apple plant k apple plant okay uh, sometimes you'll hear at your home people just calling it kayapa okay but the proper name is K apple plant. We use it to fence. This is a plant we use in fencing for security purposes. It has very sharp thorns, okay, which prevents people from going through. Then we have another again K apple plant. Look at those sharp thorns, very sharp, okay. So these are very good plant for security to plant as, as a live fence. Uh, people cannot go through because of the sharp sharp thorns okay then you have this plant here okay uh, it's this plant is very green but you, you will not see the leaves okay there are no leaves actually it just looks like that now try to get the name of this plant we also use it for fencing you can see how it grows very close together it produces a lot many stems and this makes it difficult for for a person or an animal to guide to try to go through so it's used for security purposes uh, in terms of, of fencing we have another plant there this is spinach okay you all know spinach <coughs> it's a very uh, delicious vegetable so some plants in our environment we can eat them others we cannot eat others are poisonous others have thorns now this one spinach is is we can eat it we eat the leaves okay and the same leaves can even be also eaten by animals like goats and rabbits and sheep okay then we have another plant kales this is another delicious vegetable that we eat commonly in our homes okay so you can also have a small uh, vegetable garden we call it the kitchen garden in your home and you can plant the these vegetables the kales and the spinach okay you have an, a flower there so in our environment we have all sorts of plants flowers are among the plants that we'll find in our environment this is a pla uh, again the leaves may be different colors like you can see this this flower the leaves are they are brownish okay brownish in color then adjacent plant you can see the leaves are green so plants are beautiful because they have different colors and they make our environment beautiful again this is a bamboo plant okay you planted in the flower bed to make the environment uh, look beautiful okay they also produce oxygen the oxygen that we breathe is produced by plants so it's good to plant plants uh, because they they produce oxygen okay they also attract rain okay the next there we have sweet potato plants now I believe all of you have eaten a sweet potato uh, now this is how it grows okay these are the leaves of the sweet potato very green and rabbits sheep and goats love these leaves okay so if you planted a garden of sweet potatoes you have to protect it against uh, the domestic animals others they will eat up everything now the, the 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 sweet potato is underground so once it matures we'll be able to
to remove the sweet potato and we cook. These leaves can be given to animals. Okay. So we've looked at many plants and we can group plants uh, in different ways. For example, we can say there are plants which we eat. Okay. From the tour that we've taken, we've seen quite a number of plants that we can eat. Okay, and those ones we call them edible. Okay, we call them edible plants. So the plants that we can eat, we looked at, for example, beans, kale, spinach, those ones we can eat. And I'm sure in at your home, if you look, uh, you look around the environment, you'll find maybe there are some plants that you've planted and which you, you take into the house and they are cooked or you eat raw. Okay, some plants we eat raw. For example, fruits. We don't cook fruits. Most fruits, I believe, we don't cook. We just eat raw. Others we have to cook. Now, some plants are eaten by animals. Okay, there are plants which only animals eat and we don't eat. For example, grass. Okay, grass is eaten by animals. We don't eat grass. Leaves of uh, sweet potatoes. We don't eat that. Uh, that we give to animals. Now, some plants have thorns. We've seen some plants which have thorns, the acacia and the cay apple. Okay. Now, some other plants are poisonous. There are some plants which are poisonous that you should not eat. Um, uh, so they are both dangerous to animals and people. And in the environment, don't uh, use especially fruits, like even the cay apple plant produces fruits. Don't eat those fruits. Okay you might uh, get poisoned. Now, while some other plants are not poisonous, so these plants which are not poisonous are called non-poisonous, okay? While plants which are poisonous, of course, they are called poisonous plants. <coughs> so those plants which are not poisonous, we call them non-poisonous. But it doesn't mean that every non-poisonous plant we can eat, okay? For example, grass is non-poisonous, but we can't eat it. Only animals can eat it. So I hope uh, you've you've understood the, the the how we can look at different plants and uh, group them either into those which we can eat, those we cannot eat, those with the thorns, those with the fruits, and so on. And uh, as you look in the environment, uh, every time you come across a plant, try to ask yourself these questions: Is this plant edible? Uh, is it a flower? Is it a, a weed? Is it poisonous? Okay, and try to find out more about that plant. You can also ask your parents to help you in that. Okay, and then remember we need to take care of plants. We need to take care of our flowers. We need to water them. We need to remove weeds. Okay, and we should not be uh, spoiling flowers because they are there to, beautiful, to make our environment uh, look beautiful. So remember, there will be an assignment to this um, after this lesson. Uh, so look up there in the link for assignments and do the assignment for, for this class.